Hello everyone. For this semester's exams, um, there are some few configurations that we will need to, um, to do to be able to allow the students have access to the exams that we set. Um, and in view of that, the examination coordinator together with the ICT units have introduced a new browser called the Safe Exams Browser. Um, this browser is more secure as compared to using our normal Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We realized that over the, over the past semester and even within our semester quizzes, some students are able to go to Google and also search for solutions to some of the answers, uh, search for solutions to some of the questions that we put in our quizzes. So this time round, we have come out with a safe exams browser, which is going to help limit or reduce, if not eradicate, the cheating um, aspects when, when it comes to examination on the part of students. So to do that, um, I've created over here this um, a, a course called Safe Exams Browser. So in this case, I've logged in as a lecturer in here. Um, the Safe Exam Browser is, is just the name of a course. Your, yours would be probably Introduction to Computing or the course that you have you are teaching for the semester. So this is just for demonstration. So I'll click on this the course called Safe Exams Browser. And now within the course, I have set up an examination, which is a sample exam. Um, this time round, of course, if you want to set up an exam, you go to, you turn the editing on, then you add an activity, and within that you, you select a quiz. And that will help you create a quiz or an exam for, for the purposes of this. Now, I've already set up this, so I want us to go through this as quickly as possible. So I'll click on the sample exam, and it gives me the chance to now, I can now edit the exam, the settings of that particular exam. And these ones, uh, most of us have gone through all of that. It is this side that I'm more concerned about, which is the safe exams, exam browser. So. Um, I would want you to now, anytime you create quizzes and also um, exam, um, you click on this one, then you make a selection of use an existing template, and this time around we will select UMAT SEB. So I'm going to stop this one, um, I'll go back to the, the, the general page again, and this time I'll create an exam. So I'll go to add an activity, I'll add a quiz. And within the quiz, it, it could be maybe second semester exam, exams, um, you can have your description. And one thing I realized is some people put in a picture of the exam, um, the header, the heading of the exam um, from the exams unit. Uh, we have a sample in here. You can also add that picture and include it. But my main concern here is this, uh, um, this part, which is the safe exams browser. So this is what is going to allow the students have access to the exam. And when we configure this safe exams browser, the students are only able to use this particular type of browser to do the exam. They can't use Google Chrome, they can't use Mozilla Firefox or even Internet Explorer. So at this point, whilst you are setting up the exam, you select safe exams browser, then from here, there are so many options. We have manual configuration, use existing templates, upload my own config, and use SCB um, client config. So in this case, we would have already set up a configuration that I would want all of us to um, apply, which we would use to um, protect the exams that we will, we will set in here. So I'll click on, yes, use existing templates. So once you see, you select use as a certain template, this op these options drops down. So what we have here is the UMAT, um, I have this one configured, which is UMAT Safe Exams Browser Config. So you select UMAT Safe Exams Browser Config. By default, it will be selected. And from here it says show Safe Exam Browser Download button. I would want us to maintain these uh, this option, which is yes. That gives the, the student the chance to download a safe exams browser and install before they can write the exam. 
and um, enable quitting of save exams browser yes um i would want you to set this one too so yes especially when the students are done with the exam they can now go out of the exam speech so once you do these um, basic configuration in here you can now save um, and return or save and display the information in, in for the exam so i now have the second semester exams in here